So, uh, among the things that I managed to get set up in the last week, uh, uh, the Fediverse instance, uh, kiwifarms.cc. I was not going to give the URL, but fuck it, I might as well. I should warn you that we're not we're not ready yet for anything. Crunk is still working on getting it back to 100%. He's still connecting everything. There'll probably be some downtime. He's going to fuck with the database live, as he always does. Um, so I don't expect um, flawless uptime or anything yet. But uh, if you are one of those people who've been waiting for the kiwifirms.cc to come back up, uh, you are in luck. It is back up. So you can hopefully start playing around with that now. However, <laughs> if you are on post, you will not be able to have fun with us on the Fediverse because Graf has announced that he is within 24 hours, 24 hours of KiwiFarms.cc coming back online. He has already defederated it. Uh, he says, we have blocked kiwifarms.cc for no less than a dozen reasons. So he's like, with Santa Claus, he's got a big long list. He's checking it twice. He's got a dozen things. It's itemized. It's on a PDF somewhere. The dozen reasons.docx. He can pull them up and show you if he really wants to. But he's going to go right for the throat at the first item. He says... But most importantly, because Josh and Crunklord420 are complacent with hardcore child pornography being displayed on user profiles federating from Pawu, uh, viewed on KiwiFarms.cc, while trying to concern troll about our own policies, this will not ever be lifted. So, uh, if you don't know, Pawu is a lollicon instance. The Kiwi Farms has uh blocked Pawu basically months ago before i mean it was a moderator action that i forced crunk Ward to do because he was he didn't want to defederate any instances and i told him really you have to at least do something about the lollicon instances so if you go to our about page um you will see that there are a list of instances that are completely blocked because they are illegal and then Pawu is down here in um Remove with all the lollicon instances removed and the media is blocked. So if you go to the main timeline, you won't see it uh, You will only see that if you specifically search for it and any content hosted on them is not Hosted on the Kiwi farm server. It's hosted on pool. That's how the Fediverse works. So it's like um, it, It's a federated service and while he's saying this I can actually go to um here, let me just pull this up. I didn't want to get into this completely, but I'm I'm on a tear. I might as well. Uh, if I go to his about section, and I, I can show you that while he's complaining about this, if I take our about page. And I take his about page. Now, keep in mind, these are the two things that we have. We have removed Pawu from the known network, and we have set the media force as sensitive. So only if you hunt it down will you be able to proxy it through the server. And again, it's not, not everything is illegal there. And it's only been one day. So if there has been illegal stuff on it, we haven't had the, the literally had not had the time to even witness it. And I don't think I can actually access archive.is. Um, maybe I can just access the uh, the page directly. If not, because archive that is is blocking a lot of proxies now that are causing um, that are causing issues with them. I can just summarize this, but I think that I can actually just go there directly. Go to the about section, and I can show you that the reject thing does not include Pawu. But the removal from the whole known network includes Pawu, and the media force as sensitive includes Pawu. So if he's saying that we are not blocking Pawu to his uh, requirements to be federated with him, he is also not blocking Pawu to his requirements because we have literally, demonstrably, the exact same setup for filtering Pawu. So right away right off the bat he is completely full of shit it, demonstrably 
Uh, Peru in Peru is, is another instance that is specifically for LollyCon. It's hosted in Japan. Actually, I think it's hosted in California, uh, in the U.S. by a Japanese company. It ran for Japanese people, but it's a LollyCon instance. And he's complaining that we're not blocking it, even though we've only been up for a day and we've been defederating or not uh, or filtering it out for months because it's a LollyCon instance. And I told Crunklord to filter out all the popular LollyCon instances, which he's already done. So that's a lie. And he's peddling this. And of course, the anime, uh, Crunk has a funny name for them. He calls them the podcast race. It's the race to podcasters, people who only their only contribution to the white race is that they run a podcast saying, well, I, I'm somewhat trepidatious about them Jews, about them Jays. And that's all they do. They, they, that's that's their co collective contribution to the Hawat race, which they deem the master race, is that they run a fucking podcast saying uh, white people are the best. So, uh, um, the other thing about this is that his old admin, and this is why he's salty with us, he hates Kiwi Farms because after I started posting on posts during downtime, uh, users from the forum started posting on posts as well. And they noticed that there was a lot of lollycon. His rules explicitly permit lollycon. I'll actually read you what his rules are. Posting pornography is allowed under certain uh, restrictions. When posting legal performers who appear underage, make sure that they are clearly credited media watermarks in your post so that he can verify that. Because there are a lot of Japanese models who look like prepubescent girls intentionally who are selected for pornography roles because they get pedophiles off. So he wants to make sure that you have your documents if that's the case. Uh, explicit drawn or computer-generated images are allowed for autistic or humorous value, but make sure that post them in the context. Do not endorse or glorify pedophilic activities. So Lollicon is only permitted in a way where it somehow does not glorify pedophilia. I don't know how the fuck you enforce that fairly, why you would even want to create that kind of distinction, but there you go. Um, his old admin who got chased off of post because he was outed as a, he's, I mean, he was an open pedophile. He was an open, attracted, openly attracted to children. He ran a Fediverse instance specifically for Lollicon. He still does. And he was one of the core admins of post. And when that guy stepped down, it was specifically because Kiwi Farms users on post were causing a problem about it. And Graf was overwhelmed because he is very easily emotionally exhausted by people yelling at him on the internet so when he was overwhelmed by the negativity from what he believes were kiwi farms users he had to let one of his favorite admins go because he was a lollycon an open pedophile and he still i believe to this day hates me for that but he can't openly say that so he has to round he, he has to deflect he has to deflect and say this instance is a pedophile instance because we have the exact same rules that he does. And if there is something that I don't know about this, maybe it can be explained to me. But by lo literally looking at exactly what he has posted, I can compare with what is automated from uh, Crunk Lord's system here. And I can show that they are the exact same um, situations. They do not appear. And by the way, the Lollicon instance that his old admin host does not appear anywhere in this. Uh, I won't say the name of it, but... Um, that is a bit weird. So it's just a reverse Uno. Oh, you think that you're going to make fun of uh, my instance for being full of Lollicon and for having the, the podcast race with Lollicon all over their profiles and streams and shit? Actually, reverse Uno, it's you who's the pedophile. And then they all seethe, all the, all the podcast race and all the posties, they seethe and say, mm, he doesn't like anime. You know who else said that anime was for pedophiles? That one liberal journalist six years ago during Gamergate called Mr. Pizza. He said that anime was for pedophiles and then he was arrested for possession of child porn. So if anyone else doesn't like anime, mm, they're the real pedophiles. And I was like, okay, <laughs> okay. All right, boyo. If that's what helps you sleep at night, if that's what you got, the same fucking thing that every that for the six years now, how I mean, it's been like ten years since Gamer, literally ten years since Gamergate. But 
Okay, I'm not gonna even bother. Just just celebrate. But I mentioned this. I mentioned all this because I'm I'm just saying. If you have a post account, and you're allowed to have a post account. I can see your post just fine from my Fediverse instance. However, you will be deprived the comedy stylings and musings of the Kiwi Farms community if you um are on a instance that happens to defederate us, which is actually not in bad company. There are 778 instances that have uh, outright defederated, completely reject all communications from the Kiwi Farms instance. Uh, so among these 778 uh, servers are many, 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 many far left wing uh, Mastodon instances that use a block list to make sure that transphobia, doxing, harassment, discriminatory, racismus, fascismus, nationalismus, social guns, uh, quote unquote, fry sprachen, whatever the fuck that means. At least they spelled doxing right. Maybe that's the German spelling. An entire community dedicated to harassment via transphobia, racism, sexist, harassment, death spiral, fascist, due to harassment, ching chong, bing bong. Uh, <laughs> oh, this, um, Renro, that is a direct, it's saying it's a website like Renro, which is the human flesh database in, uh, in China, which is a, a doxing website in China. And at the very, very bottom of all these LGBTQIAP plus Mastodon instances that are so freaked out by the horrible transphobia fascismus, this post. Black and Kiwi Farms. At least Bosgore.org has a real reason. He has identified the drama neighbors as the as the the soy chugging cattle that they are, and has righteously rejected all Kiwi Farms communications for their lust of e celebs. Post has literally no justification. They just did it anyways. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, oy vey, if you. If we've been kicked out of our 778 communities, I it, <laughs> maybe it's our fault. Maybe it's our fault that we've been kicked out of the 778 different communities. <laughs> it's another show. Oh, oh you <laughs> uh, uh, so anyways, this is why, this is why I really wanted the, the dot CC back up. Cause it, there's something about the, the Mastodon shit that is like pure, like hardwire, uh, drama, like distilled. There's always, cause it's like all these little fiefdoms with all these little Kings of castles that have like 10 users and, uh, post instances. They're one of the bigger instances on the entire Fediverse. Uh, but they all have like a um a little pinch, a little pinch of power and authority. So they're like, "Hear ye, hear ye! The anime council has convened, and we do doth declare that our neighbors to the east are in violation of Rule Ten, Subsection B Four, and henceforth we do declare that they shall be defederated and perpetuity forever and ever, and this ban shall not be lifted." It's like, okay. Okay, buddy. Alrighty now. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.